Sony just announced a brand new handheld. How's it going everyone? I'm here at LAX, so I apologize for the terrible audio. I just wanted to get a video up really quick because Sony just announced the Q-Lite. They're calling it Project Q, but this is exactly what leaked earlier this year. It's essentially a handheld where it's like a Sony tablet in between a cut in half DualSense, and it's not really built to play native games. What it's built for is streaming games over Wi-Fi directly from your PlayStation 5 console. This is coming hot on the heels of Sony's earnings report where they reveal that they are very bullish on streaming, which is kind of crazy considering Microsoft just basically said that they haven't had much headway in streaming. I mean, the biggest game they were able to get over Xbox cloud streaming to actually move numbers and cause a queue to form was Fortnite. And after that, things died down pretty quick. But Sony's not really going for the whole X cloud streaming thing here. They're going for more, you own a PS5, you own a bunch of games already for your PlayStation 5. You're just gonna be able to take advantage of those games that you already own own over Wi-Fi streaming from your PlayStation 5. So you're playing your very own games. And this is kind of cool because you can pretty much already do it. You can do it with an iPhone app. You can do it with a Mac app. There are plenty of ways to remote play from your PlayStation 5. I used to do it all the time on my Vita. You could even do it with the PlayStation 3 and the PSP. So there's always been some technology there on Sony's end to support this. Because of that, I think it will probably work pretty dang well. Uh, they didn't give a release date. They just said later this year, but they also surprisingly announced it alongside these other leaked earbuds. These were leaked a long time ago on Insider Gaming. There's apparently more coming in terms of earbuds, but these are all we got for right now. And you can kind of see what they're going for here, right? You have the Project Q, you have the earbuds, and you have a PlayStation 5. You're all in at like over $1,000, I would guess, even though we don't really know the price. It keeps you in that PS5 ecosystem. And instead of streaming games from the cloud over a subscription service, you're streaming games that you're buying. Because we all know that the best way to make money for these companies is to just sell us the individual games instead of making the subscription service. Microsoft has said that Xbox cloud is profitable. We hear that the streaming is profitable all the time, but nothing is more profitable than big first party $70 releases like the ones that Sony is putting out. And boy, did they announce a ton today. We saw Metal Gear Solid. It's called the Master Collection. Personally, I have to see more from this thing. Like if it has a UI where you could put Android games on it, or if there's any capability at all to actually play any native games, that would get me way more on board with it. But as someone who has a Steam Deck can already stream games from my PlayStation 5 to that, I don't need another handheld in my life, especially when I have an ROG Ally pre-ordered as well. I really do want to try this thing out though, mainly because of the DualSense features. I think it's really cool that Jim Ryan basically came out and said right away that it's going to have all the features we would expect. I mean, haptic feedback, adaptive triggers. It's going to feel like playing a portable PS5. The actual clincher though is how are they going to get this thing's bit rate right where you'd want to use it over your PlayStation 5? Look, I understand the appeal of handhelds, but like the places you want to play them on an airplane, on a train, you know, things in motion that don't have good cell service or good Wi-Fi, they're going to have to have some really, really dang good streaming technology to make this thing usable in those places. Like if you're connecting to your phone's 5G hotspot, I'm in LA. It's one of the biggest cities in the world. It's got one of the widest 5G networks. I never have 5G. And when I do, it drains the hell out of my battery. So I need a battery bank to connect to my phone while I turn on 5G uh, cellular hotspot. And then I connect the Project Q to it. You see where I'm getting here? You have to have a lot of stuff in your bag. I really think though, the reason Sony is putting this out is just because it's cheap to make. It's a good thing to pair with the PlayStation 5. They can pair it up with the earbuds and get more of that hardware ecosystem out there. I'd really like to see the other earbuds they're rumored to be working on. Obviously, I'd love to see more monitors like the in-zone stuff that are directly from PlayStation and Sony. I'd like to see more integration with Sony TVs. And I'd really, really like to see a brand new actual PlayStation handheld in the future. But if if this thing does really well and Sony says, hey, people are buying handhelds again, we're doing as well as Nintendo does normally with the Switch, I could totally see them actually beefing this thing up and making it into a true PlayStation Vita successor. Obviously, we got a lot to know. We got to know the price. We got to know the release date. We got to know what operating system it's running. I mean, we have nothing on this thing outside of the leaks that we've known about for months. I'm sure we'll find out as the months go on. But as far as the showcase goes, I think it was pretty good. I think it's always good to see new hardware. I love the PlayStation brand and I'm excited to see more.